With the Jack Nicholson image, I was basically just trying to get a really quintessential iconic shot of him. This really wasn't for the assignment. The, the original assignment was for um, Entertainment Weekly magazine for when he did the film As Good As It Gets. And it was him with Helen Hunt. And he came to the studio, you know, after she had already started her makeup. But of course, it always takes women forever to get their hair and makeup done and styling. So he's just like sitting around and I hear go like, here's Jack Nicholson in my studio, just sitting there. I've got to just get some shots of him, you know? So I saw his publicist and she was over talking to somebody. So he was sitting on the couch and I said, you know, I had this shot all set up. Do you mind if I just take a, a quick roll of you? And he's kind of like, well, okay, whatever. What am, you know, what else am I going to do? In lighting this Jack Nicholson photograph, there were a couple of things that would be very important. I had to be very quick. I had to make sure that everything was as simple to the point because I knew I would maybe get one roll and that would be it. And I wanted a light that was going to just draw him very nicely with a little bit of um, backlight for the smoke and that would be it. So I had a beauty dish, just um, camera left, just um, up a little bit off to my side. And the, the rim had, was a 10 degree grid spot. Each one was lit with a, had a separate pack. And, and that was it. It was, it, was, it was a very simple light, but that's all it needed to be. I mean, he had so much strength, I didn't want anything too complicated. And I had my uh, trusty Pentax 6x7 camera with some Tri-X, because everything else I was shooting color, but I just thought, you know, here he is, because he was smoking this Camel cigarette in the studio. And I said, oh, I just, you know, this was kind of before the days where people weren't allowed to smoke in the studios. And of course, no one's going to tell Jack Nicholson he has to go outside and smoke a cigarette anyway. So he's sitting there and he just has like, you know, the thing in his mouth. And it was kind of like this Popeye grin. And it was just like, boom, one roll, I think was in, in a couple of frames. I just had it and that was it. And he goes, you know, after 10 frames, which is what you get on the camera, he goes, you got it. And that was it. That was the whole shot. But, you know, it wasn't for the magazine. They didn't end up using but another magazine eventually ended up using it. And um, it's just, you know, one of those, um, you know, great moments in your career where you, you kind of know you have a shot and you just, you feel good that you kind of pushed it and you, you know, you tried to do something that wasn't being asked of you, you know.